Hi, Douglas Simonson coming to you from Mexico with another painting video designed to make you a better painter. In this video, I'm going to be painting a male nude. So if male nudity bothers you, don't watch this video, okay? The subject of the painting in the video is a male nude, but the subject of the video is an approach that I use that I call working all over the painting. This is a way of avoiding getting caught up in detail, getting bogged down in maybe one small area of the painting, and losing sight of the big picture. Anybody who's taken any of my classes or watched my videos knows that I keep coming back to this one subject. It's all about the big shapes. The big shapes are the areas of light and dark, the patterns of the entire picture. They're not the details, they're the big shapes. And when you get that right, that's the basic structure of your painting, and you get that right, your painting is going to work. If the big shapes aren't working, it doesn't matter how fabulous your details are, the painting is not going to work. So, this approach will help you stay focused on the big picture. And you'll understand more as you watch the video. So for this painting, I used a photograph from a photo shoot with Enrique, one of my models here in Mexico. Here you can see the original photo. And on the right you can see the tweaked version. This is something I do to make my photos easier to paint from. And you can find out more about it by watching my video, Using Photoshop to Make Your Photos Easier to Paint From. Before I started painting, I did quite a few drawings. In this case, I didn't want to just copy the photograph. I wanted to give the body and the composition a little more visual excitement. So I exaggerated some angles, moved things around a little bit. Here's one of the sketches I did. I was on the right track here, but not there yet. And now here's the final sketch. This is the drawing I really liked and I decided, okay, this is what I want. I'm now ready to turn this into a painting. So I transferred that drawing onto a piece of canvas and went over the pencil lines with black paint. And that's where this video begins. So I've laid a wash over the underdrawing. And while that's drying, I mix my colors. You can't see it, but what I'm doing here is mixing all the basic colors I need to get a good start on the painting. And now the fun begins. So this is a pretty graphic demonstration of what I mean when I say working all over the painting. Because I've got an underdrawing to guide me, I can focus on just putting all the main colors down as quickly as I can. 
So after just a few minutes, I've got a pretty good idea how my colors and values are working. This happened because I was careful not to get caught up in any one area of the painting. If you work fast and you step back often and squint so you can see the whole painting and not the details, you'll always know how you're doing. You'll catch problems as they come up and there'll be fewer surprises. As I continue, I get more areas covered with paint and I can start finishing certain areas paying attention to detail. But even as I do that, I'm still jumping around so that I keep working all over the painting and I'm still careful to step back often and check my progress. That's a really important part of the process and working all over the painting makes it easier to remember to do that. One thing I want to point out is I'm not paying that much attention to the colors I'm using. I'm paying a lot of attention to the lights and darks. Another word for that is the values. When I step back and see that an area of the painting is not popping, not coming to life the way I want it to, the answer is usually add some dark or add some light. The color of that light or dark value is not that important. You notice I'm using some colors in this painting that are not necessarily accurate, that don't really make sense, but I can get away with that because the values are working. When I step back and squint, what I'm checking are the values, not the colors. There's a saying about painting, values do all the work, colors get all the credit. Be one of those painters who gives values the credit they deserve. Okay, that's the painting. It's called Enrique on the Terrace and you can see it on my website at douglassimonson.com. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Please check out my other videos here on YouTube and please subscribe. And now, go paint!